Hey guys, this video is going to be an update on my night vision setup. Initially I had it in this housing, which was a handheld unit, and it worked pretty well, but I wanted to make a real mounted unit, and that is this guy right here. So it's the same components, it's just reconfigured and packaged slightly differently. I had to actually take the battery apart to get it to fit in a nice small package. It is sitting on an ACOG mount right here. You can see the back of it here. Right there, you can kind of see the shape of the ACOG bottom. And this is uh, there the, uh, the thumb screws. There's a power switch, which turns it on. And it is looking through a Trigicon MRO, which has a couple of night vision settings, but I think uh, as N, big N, one and two. So we're, we're gonna be using those in tests shortly. And uh, I'm using the same IR illuminator. I'll put all the all the links to the hardware I bought besides the besides the MRO in the, in the description below. So let's take it outside and see how it works. All right, guys, this is the view through the IR camera right here. You can see that tree up against the sky, which is similar to what you can see with the naked eye. This is without the illuminator on. And down here, you can see there's the outline of the of the fence. And sorry for the shaky camera, I'm holding this out with one hand. So let's turn the illuminator on and see how it looks. Okay, now with the illuminator on, you can see inside the barn, you can totally see the barn outline. You can see all those trees. And if I can hold this at the right distance, it'll focus on the screen. You can see all the stuff you couldn't see before. There's all that fence right there. And let's turn it off and we'll go back to... This is pretty close to what you can see with the naked eye right now. You can see a little more detail with just the camera. So there's our horse and she's drinking some water. And you can see a lot more detail now. So you can actually see inside the barn there and all those trees up there. Okay guys, we're inside now. We're looking at a computer monitor up there. You can see the dot, the Trigicon dot, as I'm moving the screen around there. And the beam is on a really wide setting right now, and I can focus it down to a setting like that, where it's just a, a spot, so this will reach out well over 100 yards into 200 yards, or you can make it more of a flood for indoor use. And there's that dot right there walking around that screen.